All right, uh, hey everybody, so I'm Tyler Shim, and let me just get into it. So my mom has kind of severe anxiety when it comes to myself and my two siblings. Um, I love her, she's been a great role model to me, but she does have anxiety, and this story might shed a little light as to why. Um, so the story takes place when I was like six or seven, and at the time I was living in Richmond, Virginia, and I had a lot of family who lived in Maryland, specifically my aunt and uncle who lived in Oxford. Uh, and I loved visiting them. They were they were great people. They were both retired lawyers. Uh, my aunt was fantastic. Uh, she knew the answer to every possible trivia question you could ever ask. And she was also like a master pool player who taught me a bunch of tricks that I'm really only now starting to appreciate. Um, and my uncle was one of those kind of laid back old timers who was a bird watcher. He always had a pair of binoculars around his neck. Um, and if you asked him a question. He would, like, two hours later still be answering your question with, like, a story and a tangent, but he didn't mind because he told the stories really well. And so one of our favorite things to do when we went up to visit them, like, every couple of weekends or so, was to go out fishing because Oxford, Maryland is right on the Chesapeake Bay. And so we would take out my grandfather's fishing boat called the Miss Maggie and just kind of spend the day on the water so we could catch some dinner. And um, this particular outing, it was kind of business as usual. Um, I was wearing my fluorescent yellow, all-encompassing, puffy life jacket, which I always complained about. Um, that thing was really annoying. I felt like the kid who couldn't put his arms down after putting on his winter coat. Um, we had bagels that we had brought specifically um, for this occasion, and my sister was torturing the worm, so we were gonna use his bait. Um, so yeah, just like a normal day. And um, I was sitting in the back of the boat, and I was looking at the wake, and everyone knows that a boat makes a wake, but if you've ever actually taken the time to look at it, it's this beautiful pattern of green waves and white froth just kind of crashing over each other over and over and over again. And um, six-year-old me, with very little impulse control, um, thought, you know what, it might be fun to swim in that. So I looked around, um, no one was sitting with me, and I just kind of intentionally fell off the back of the boat. Um, and I was so young that, I mean, uh, the story has had to be told to me a couple times so I can get the details down, but this is the part that I really remember, because that was scary. Um, I thought I was going to drown, because I didn't really understand current at the time, um, and so it was a big surprise to me when I was getting like sucked under the water and pulled in every direction, and getting sprayed like with foam from the motor of a boat that's getting further and further away, because we were going pretty fast at the time to get out to where we were going to be doing our fishing. Um, and of course I was wearing the life jacket, the one that I always complained about, but it was kind of hard for me to think, like, in the moment, all right, I've got a life jacket, so getting pulled under the water and taking on, like, so much salt in my lungs is going to be fine, because, you know, I'm going to float. Um, I just didn't make that connection. And so I thought that I was going to drown. Um, and that, that was pretty scary. I, and no one noticed that I had fallen off, is the thing. I was <laughs> screaming, but you couldn't hear me. Um, and so I just kind of chilled there once, once the waves died down for a couple days. I was told after that it was like 10 minutes tops, but that doesn't sing right. Um, and so it turned out it was my aunt who's the one who kind of looked around first and was like, where's Tyler? Um, and this is when, of course, uh, my mom started getting a little anxious, uh, as I would if my kid who couldn't really swim got lost in the middle of a huge body of water. And so they turned the boat around, uh, retraced their steps, and they found me in my fluorescent yellow life jacket. Um, it was actually my uncle who was the one who spotted me with the binoculars that he took literally everywhere he goes. Um, and he scoped me up out of the water, and he chose that exact moment to take out like the old prosecutor voice, um, which was kind of terrifying to me in itself, because I had never gotten yelled at by like a really old man who I really respected. Um, and that really kind of nailed the point home that maybe it's not the smartest thing in the world to jump off of a moving vehicle. Uh, for like the sake of your own health and the mentalities of everyone on said vehicle. Um, and yeah, after that though, the message really stuck. Um, I learned, oh, I learned never to complain about my life jacket again, as annoying as those things can be. Uh, but I also learned a lot of self-control, um, which yeah, I can, I can see some of you smiling. I may have lost that um, as the years gone by, so I don't know, maybe I'll have to jump off something else um, and just kind of relearn that lesson. But yeah, that's the story of how I thankfully didn't die. Thank mm -hmm. you.